Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on your Windows computer. So let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the search bar here and then open up settings. So we're going to open up settings here. And once you open up your settings here, we're going to go ahead into the option for system right here. And then from system here, we're going to go down here until we see... recovery so click on recovery and from recovery here we're going to go to advanced setup right and then we're going to click on restart now and then basically we will go ahead and do that restart now now if you don't have this option for some reason i'm going to show you another way also to get to this but basically we're looking to get into the BIOS of the computer, which sometimes your computer might have this advanced recovery option that we showed you, or you may need to turn it on. When you turn it on, depending on your model of your computer, you would press either F2, F3, F10, F11. I'm going to show you the keys for different models that you can use. So here, I'm just using this method, but I'll, and then I'll show you basically the keyboard number that you'll enter whenever you're rebooting your computer to get into the BIOS option. So this will happen if you go through the process by getting the BIOS. You're gonna click on troubleshoot here and then we're gonna advance options. And then from advanced options here, we're gonna to go to UEFI firmware settings. So we can change some settings here. And then we have to restart again. Again, depending on your model, you're going to follow a similar step. Essentially, get to the BIOS, which is a setup utility. And then once you get to BIOS, again, depending on your model of computer, it's going to be something like this, something different. You're going to see usually under advanced or security where there's an option that will allow you to go ahead and change the TPM setting. As you can see here, I can go down here. Uh, you may need to set a supervised password. If you didn't do that already, just go ahead and set one, like one, two, three, four. I'm just setting something simple since this is my demo computer. And then you can go down here, and then you can go ahead and change the TPM on your computer. Like you can go ahead and click on enable, and then depending on your model, you have an option that will say TPM setting. Mine's here, for example already has 2.0 enabled because this is a new year computer running on Windows 11 already. If you're running on Windows 10, you probably won't see it. And then you'll be able to do that. And then from there on, we just restart again. And then you'll be able to enable the 2.0 TPN setting from there. So I'm going to show you just one more step on a different way to reboot into that menu if you couldn't do it the way I did it, which is when you, you need to computer to shut computer, you're gonna turn off the computer, right? I see. So when you turn off the computer, you'll go into this option. So when you turn off the computer, when you're powering it back on, depending on the model, take a note of the model, you enter or press on that key. So you if you have a Dell, F2, if you have uh, HP, you follow this rule. So just take a note of this and then you get into that menu and then you can change your TPN setting from advanced or security section. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.